Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. It's about a quarter after seven in the morning here in Minnesota. I'm gonna run up to the store. I need to get uh, seed potatoes and onion sets, and uh, we need to get this garden tilled up. It's time to plant some potatoes. Well, I picked up the potatoes. I got a couple of different varieties of uh, red here. I got a mid-season and a late, and then I got the Yukon Gold, which is a mid-yellow, or I call them white, but they are a yellow potato. Got my onion sets, and then I got some of these fingerling. I can't find these big purple ones I had a few years ago. I can only find the fingerling ones, so I'm gonna plant those, and I got some here. But the first thing I gotta do is move the forklift to its summer spot, and uh, the one tire on the back goes low after a couple months, so I need to pump that up. Seems to be working good. I'm gonna go grab my little grandson Xander. He can walk now, so he can, kind of a nice day too. It's probably 55 already, so he can run around out here and have some fun. Almost have it all tilled up. Jim just stopped over here and dropped off another load of wood. Well, I'll let this sit for a little while here and I don't know if I'll plant these yet today or maybe come out in the morning and plant it. I think I might split some wood for a little while and we'll come back to this a little bit later. Well, it's early evening now and uh, I usually plant the potatoes more 
kind of the you know, right third of the garden. I'm going to go more towards the center here a little bit. And I'm just going to till that part up a second time here, and then tomorrow I'll plant the potatoes. I'll be back out here tomorrow. All right, well, it's the next afternoon. It isn't too warm today, maybe mid-50s only, but I'm gonna get these potatoes planted, and the rest of the week is supposed to be really crappy, rainy and cold, so perfect for the potatoes. All right, well, like usual, I'm planting my potatoes two feet apart and the rows three feet apart. And I think I'm just gonna start here with my red lasotas. Next up here, I'm going to do the red Norlands. Are you digging a hole too? And the first part of this row now I'm going to do some Yukon Gold. What do you have there, huh? What is that? If you guys want a step-by-step -step on how I do the potatoes, I uploaded that video earlier this year that went through the whole entire season. I'll leave that link in the description so you can see exactly how I do this and you know closer up. I'm kind of blowing through it right now. So next up I'm going to do these Magic Molly, these fingerling purples. I really do like the purple potatoes, but like I said I wish that these were the bigger ones and not the little ones, but they're fun to grow. And the last one I'm going to do are these French fingerlings. Um, I don't know, they look, look kind of neat on the inside, so I'm going to give them a try. I've never grown these before. And I'm only going to do four of these. Okay everyone, while the potatoes are all planted, that'll be more than enough potatoes that I can eat in a year, right there for sure. I'm not going to do the onions today. They take a little more patience than I feel like I have right now. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll come out and do those onions, I don't know, a few more days here. And we'll see you guys on the next video.